video we are going to attempt IELTS reading summary which is gap fills but the summary with synonyms in the question. For example, they have mentioned A to H the words which we have to use because when we read the instruction they have written complete the summary using the list of word AH below. Write the correct letters AH in boxes 31 to 33 on your answer sheet. Make sure you are writing the words from A to H. You are going to use the word A, B, C or E or H. But you are not going to write the full word like interpretation, complexity or emotions. If you will write the full word, you will lose mark because... They have mentioned write the correct letter A to H. Now we know that when they have mentioned a list of words there will be synonyms. So we are already ready that there will be synonyms in the passage. Now we will read the questions. Art and the brain. The discipline of neuroesthetics aims to bring scientific objectivity to the study of art. Neurological studies of the brain, for example, demonstrate the impact which Impressionists painting have on our dash. Now we will take the keywords like scientific objectivity, neuroesthetics, neurological studies and about paintings and we will move to the passage. When we read the first passage, very first passage, an emerging discipline called neuroesthetics is seeking to bring scientific objectivity to the study of art and has already given us a better understanding of many masterpieces. The blood imagery of impressionist painting, the keyword is there, seems to stimulate the brain's amygdala for instance. What is amygdala? It's a part of our brain system which is responsible for emotions. Since the amygdala plays a crucial role in our feelings, that finding might explain why many people find these pieces so moving. So now they are talking about amygdala, feelings. If we go to the same location, the question, they are talking about neurological studies of the brain, for example, demonstrate the impact which impressionist painting have on our dash. That means there cannot be interpretation, complexity, but emotions because they are talking about feelings. So the answer will be emotions for 31st. And what we are going to write? See there, not emotions. The other options are movement, skill, layout, concern, images which are not useful. So we have got the right answer. Then the next we will move to the 32nd. Alex Forsyth of the University of Liverpool believes many artists give their works the precise degree of dash which most appeals to the viewer's brain. Now Alex and the Liverpool and artist are our keywords. We will quickly move to the passage again. We will see the next passage, second one, third they are talking about Angelina, then Robert. We will quickly move to the next page. They are talking about artists and all and they are talking about ocean and when we will go to the second page, third para, they are talking about Alex Forsyth of University of Liverpool. Now we know we have got the correct location. Now we are going to read this passage in detail. In another experiment, Alex of the University of Liverpool analyzed the visual intricacy of different pieces of art and her results suggest that many artists use a key level of detail to please the brain. So now we know they are talking about that Alex analyzed the visual intricacy of different pieces of art. In the question they are again talking about Alex and what he is talking about he believes many artists give their work the precise degree of dash which most appeals to viewers brain. So the degree of intricacy, now the, question, the synonym for that word is complexity. We can't use interpretation, we can't use movements, concern, images, skill, layout. So the answer is clear, it's complexity which is the synonym of intricacy. Now we will move to the last question. She 
they are talking about Alex only. So we know the location will be same. She also observed that pleasing works of art often contain certain repeated dash which occur frequently in the natural world. Now we know it is they are talking about Alex. She is talking about repeated something and which occur in the natural world. We will go to the same location. We will read the second line. Too little and the work is boring but too much results in a kind of perceptual overload according to foresight. What's more appealing pieces both abstract and representational show signs of fractals, repeated motifs recurring in different scale. Now they are talking about repeated motifs. And then if we go to the next line, fractals are common throughout nature. For example, in the shape of mountain peaks or the branches of trees. Now they are talking about something natural. In the question, they are talking about something is repeated which occur frequently in natural world. That is, they are talking about repeated motifs. The, the synonym for repeated motifs is images. Now the, we will write H in 33. So this is the way how can we complete the summary. Make sure that summary is not always in sequence. So you have to be careful about keywords as well as synonym. Thank you for watching our video. For more videos related to reading, listening, writing and speaking, Please subscribe and like our channel. Thank you.